thought for the week. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 and 32. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamour and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Sometimes when we get angry, we become bitter and we hold a grudge. I'm sure we've all done it at times. But when we do that, we just drag ourselves down. We must let go of the past because it's history and we cannot change it. So if someone has hurt us or wronged us, we have to forgive. We have to. Because how can we expect to be forgiven ourselves if we cannot or will not forgive others? Jesus said that when he taught us the prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So we have to forgive. If we are to be forgiven, we have to forgive. Life is too short. And tomorrow for some of us may never come. Just remember that one day we will all face our maker, the Lord God. And we do not know when that day will come. The Bible talks about forgiveness and reconciliation. And we have to, as a Christian, we have to set the example to the world. We have to be better. We have to set the standard and keep to it. We are even told that we should love our enemies. And do we? So look at ourselves, look into our own hearts. Have we truly followed what Paul has said in these verses? I recommend that everyone read John's first letter. It tells us about love, about the Father's love for us and how we should love each other as Christians. And how to behave. So I ask the question again. I say that we should look at ourselves. Look into our, our own heart. I have to look into my heart. And say have we. Have I. Truly. Followed what Paul said. In these verses. Think about it. And. If not now when the Lord bless you and give you his peace always Amen